Scientists uh, talk about objects called black holes. Do you believe in such objects, um, or if so, what are they? Yeah, black hole, I do believe in them, and uh, there's good reason to believe that black holes exist. They're predicted to exist theoretically on the basis of Einstein's physics, uh, general relativity. Yeah, but by the way, I, I have just almost finished writing a book on this topic, and it's going to be neat because I love black holes. Black holes are incredibly cool. They're not only a test of physics, but they show us something about the mind of God. They're, they're mind-blowing. I mean, it's, it's weird, but they're neat. Uh, they're basically regions of space where the gravity is so intense that light can't escape. And since nothing can go faster than light, it follows that nothing can escape a black hole. Once you're inside that, that's it, game over. And uh, one way to make them is when a star collapses in on itself. We think there's good evidence that when very massive stars uh, explode, and we know they do that, we see them explode from time to time, that the inner portions of it get compressed together. And once they get inside this point of no return, which is called the event horizon, once they get inside that, there's, n there's nothing that can stop them from, from compressing all the way down to a point. So all the mass in a black hole is in a little point in the middle, interestingly, of no size, because if it had any size, it would collapse in. But the region surrounding it, there's like a sphere that is, is there's nothing physical there, but there, you can imagine a sphere around it that is the point of no return. And once you're inside that, you can't escape. Uh, you're going to die once you get inside that. <laughs> so, but there, there are none nearby Earth, and, and that's, that's a good thing. Uh, so there's no, there's no problem for us.